Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is about getting close to the subject. Now, getting close to the subject also improves our images technically because remember, we're reducing the water column, so we're improving color, contrast, and clarity. But in this context, we're not really talking about technical issues. We're talking about how getting close and filling the frame with our subject makes the image itself more compelling regardless of the actual technical aspects of the image. So here's an example of an angel fish that I shot. I was lucky to get close to it and I filled the, the frame with the image. So often my images have failed because I'm just too darn far away. Here I was using a wide angle lens which makes everything look far and small and distant and I had that school of squid. I was really not that far from it but with the wide angle lens everything is kind of minified and the, the subject is kind of lost. Again, here I had a compact camera and I was only about three or four feet away from it with a normal lens of this file fish which looked quite beautiful, but I'm too far away. I, it's just not that great of an image in my opinion. Now remember, there's exceptions. Here, I kind of wanted to be a little farther away because I wanted to show my dive buddy in the context of how big the wreck was. If I got real close, I wouldn't be able to show the rest of the, rest of the wreck. So there's always exceptions, as I stated. So here's a wide angle shot of a beautiful turtle. I was only about three feet from the turtle, but with my wide angle lens, everything looked distant and small, and I just don't think that image is that great. If I got right up to the turtle, though, in my opinion, that image is just so much better because I'm really getting close to the subject. Again, wide angle shot of some spade fish at the Blue Heron Bridge. I'm a little too far away. I get a little bit closer, and now, boy, it just pops out at you. It's a much more interesting image. Here's a macro shot of a beautiful frogfish in Indonesia, but if I get closer, now I'm more filling the frame with the subject. It looks much better. Now here I'm filling the frame with this subject. It's a side view, a profile view of a butterfly fish in Hawaii. Still kind of boring, and you don't have to have the entire fish in. You know, we can break the rules and truncate part of the subject and only show a portion of the fish. And in my opinion, this is a better image. I'm filling the frame with more of its face much better image in my opinion. Again, here's a scorpion fish. If we get very close and fill the frame, I think that's a better, more interesting image. It kind of jumps out at you. Uh, here's a bat fish, and again, same thing, filling the frame with just a portion of the bat fish, uh, zeroing in on its, uh, on its portrait. Uh, this is a frogfish in Indonesia. There's a lot of sand and some backscatter, and I still was close enough where I didn't even have the whole fish in the frame, but the background was kind of distracting. Didn't really do much. I was on the verge of deleting it, and then I got even closer and took a shot right of its face, and boy, I think that's a much better image now. You can't even see most of the frogfish, but you can see the eyes, the mouth, and its lure, and there's still some sand on its face, but again, a nice filling the frame with a portion of its face. It actually, in, in my opinion, makes a somewhat interesting image. Here I cut off the nose and the rest of the shark. It's only a portion of its face, but I kind of like that. It's an interesting shot because I'm very close to the shark. Same thing with this beautiful uh, green moray eel and with the spade fish. Getting close to the subject. Here's a lizard fish and another fish in Indonesia. And here I only have a portion of, the, um, of this stargazer. I just have one eye and a portion of its mouth, but I'm filling the frame with even a portion of its face. Now, with wide angle or close focus wide angle, as you recall, a wide angle lens makes everything look small and distant, but if we get real close to the subject in the foreground, now the subject in the foreground, which looks relatively huge compared to things in the background, and we get these wonderful illusions and unique and interesting size perspective distortion. So here I show this in my close focus wide angle series. Here's a picture of me taking a picture of a plastic frog and hermit crab with my wife behind it. You can see how they're lined up. Same alignment, but now I'm real close to the frog in wide angle mode on my compact camera. So in the first image, everything looks about the same size, the frog, then the hermit crab behind the frog, then my wife. But when I'm but with the shot where I'm right up to the frog, now look at how the frog is relatively huge. It jumps out at us. It makes for a much more interesting image because I'm really close to the foreground subject with my wide angle lens. Same situation here I'm a little further away now I just have the frog and my wife behind the frog and now I'm right up to the frog look at how that frog jumps out at us you get this wonderful illusion and interesting and unique perspective. Here's a couple examples underwater of a batfish in the foreground. I'm a little further away from the batfish when I like when I get even a little bit closer. Now I'm feeling more of the batfish in the foreground and it jumps out at me more when we can still see a portion of my wife in the background. 
Same thing with my dive buddy, uh, angelfish with my dive buddy behind it. Uh, I'm about three feet away. If I get right up to an angelfish, my dive buddy is still behind it. Now the angelfish fish looks relatively huge. Very, very interesting size perspective distortion. Again, nice stingray in the foreground with my dive buddy in the background. I'm right up to the stingray to emphasize this, this wonderful um, illusion of size uh, distortion. So that's pretty much it. This uh, episode is, in, in my humble opinion, one of the most important aspects of composition underwater, not only for technical reasons to restore color, contrast, and clarity, but just to give our subject the emphasis and the attention it deserves Fill the frame with your subject, and for wide angle or close focus wide angle, we can get really close to that foreground subject to really get wonderful perspectives. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'd really appreciate any of your feedback on my website, theaquaticeye.com. Uh, thanks again.